why healing your emotions will balance your body weight. So grief is heavy and we can carry emotions around for years, for decades. And these emotions, because we are the same on every level of our being, every level of us is reflected in the other. If we're holding on to heavy emotions, we will be holding on to it physically. So instead of it being like in a movie where someone talks about emotional baggage and this suitcase appears, instead of it being easy to carry around like a wheelie suitcase, it is inside every cell of your being frequently as fat because it has to go somewhere because it's an energy that exists and as an energy that exists on an energetic level in your being it also has to exist in your physical being so i want you to consider emotional healing work and emotional processing just like you would a workout or any other thing to take care of your health like brushing your teeth so we know without working out and without brushing our teeth we're not going to be healthy or beautiful or desirable just the same as with our emotions. If we're not clearing it out, it's building up, it's creating emotional toxicity and it's creating toxicity in your body. So you're gonna, just like you would schedule anything else, you can schedule your emotional healing time and you can put it in your calendar and you can be like Wednesday at 7 p.m. Feel my feels, check. <laughs> Which is what I've done because I found that if I wasn't on my regular Wednesday night purge of my emotions where I, I do my dance and it just like I weep everything out on the floor I turn into a big ugly mess which makes everything in my life a big ugly mess so schedule your feels of course if they're coming out on their own don't wait until the scheduled time. Find a safe little space for yourself and allow yourself to feel all the feelings because if it's coming up, it is the perfect time to feel it, to let it out. Let yourself have a cathartic couple of minutes. Maybe it's a half an hour where you like really let it ramp up and let it all out. And then you're gonna find how much more clear your mind and your emotions are and so whenever we do our emotional clearing healing process we do get those extra benefits of mental clarity and emotional clarity and balance we find that our head and our heart are more clear and more connected we're more in tune with our intuitions because it's not all emotion 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 there's silence when we processed it we can hear what our inner wisdom our inner being is saying what it's guiding us to we can hear and feel and know the divine wisdom that's coming to us because it's not all squashed with heavy grief and anger and resentments we're freer and so even if you're not actually losing weight even if you're a skinny person it is a weight upon your being and so if you desire to feel more light in the world to feel more light-hearted then emotional processing is still absolutely necessary for you and you'll find that everything in your life works better when you start letting yourself have this self-love practice this is a self-love practice, letting yourself have the time and the space to feel those feelings no matter what they are. And if nothing feels like it's coming up, just being with that whatever sense it is, if there's a sense of numbness, be there with that sense of numbness until it feels 
you know, like it, it's going to shift into something else. Our emotions are always moving and shifting and changing form. And numbness absolutely is something that you have to feel as well because that is a sensational emotion that is really important. And it will allow you to have more joy and more balance of your emotions on a higher level once you feel out any numbness or dullness or complacency and you'll notice as you do this our our emotions are layered so if you go into one you're going to end up in another most of the time if you allow yourself to dive deeply into your emotion you're going to end up in a space of gorgeous clarity or even like radiant joy i find when i do my dance practice i can like i fall into this like weeping, wailing grief. And by the end of the hour, I am just like, ah, in this like ecstatic, orgasmic joy. So feeling in through all of them, I know it can be crazy uncomfortable, but there is so much goodness underneath it. And another benefit of this is you will be kinder to your family because you won't be so hard trying to hold on to your emotions that something sets you off and you bite the head off your partner or your kid or you say something to a friend or a co-worker that wasn't actually in alignment with your truth it was just because your emotions have been overwhelmed and you've been holding on to so much for so long so I invite you to give that a try, and if you need some support, if you need some practices, I have an amazing three-module free women's emotional empowerment course. I will guide you through some of my favorite processes to clear emotions, the easiest, fastest, most graceful way to clear your emotions, to center yourself to balance your emotions and to tune into the juicy joy that is underneath and always available to you. So I'm sending you tons of love and I will see you next time. Mwah.